guys, thanks for joining the vlog. I'm super excited to bring this math class today. It's an advanced math class. It's all the repertoire from modules one, two, three, and four from the Bassi Pilates teacher training program. It's an intense class, so please honor your body and don't overdo it. Before we get started, smash that like button and hit subscribe to become a part of the Pilates Life channel. Thanks for your support. Let's move. Okay, here we go with a Module 4 Bassi Pilates mat class. So this is very similar to the class that you'd be taking in Module 4 if you were doing the teacher training program for mat. It's really advanced repertoire, so honor your body. Don't do any repertoire that you're not comfortable with. Make sure you kind of sit it out if there's something that you're not feeling at the time. I've got a great assistant with me, Daniela. Come on in, Daniela. She is one of my awesome instructors here at my studio. And I'm shooting in my new studio for the first time. So this is one of the first video shoots in the new facility. I'm super stoked. So here we go. Module 4 mat class, Bassi Pilates. I'm going to have you stand up here on the mat and feet just a couple inches apart. We're going to do a couple of roll downs. So just stand comfortably, take a nice deep breath into the nose and as you exhale through the mouth, roll your spine down. I love starting with a roll down. It's a great way for the client to commence this session. Take a breath in, exhale, scoop and roll up. It's a great way for you as the instructor to see what's happening with your client and how they move, coordinate breath with movement before you begin. So on the next one, when you come up, I'm gonna have you bring your hands just a little slightly behind the greater trochanter of your hip. And you're very flexible. We can see she's really flexible, but as you go down, don't maximize your range. So take a breath in, exhale, reach out through the crown of the head, start to roll through the spine, palms face one another, and just go down to your fingertips right about there. So she can go a lot deeper than this, but this allows her to just find a nice curvature of the spine, not going into a full forward fold, and then protecting the low back. So we're gonna soften our knees just a little bit next time as you come down to that lumbar. So take a breath in, exhale, roll through the spine and peel up. We'll do one more. Bring your hands back just a little bit. Inhale, exhale as you roll down, feel your neck stretch, your upper back stretch, your mid back. And right as you get into your low back, soften. That was perfect, Daniela. That was beautiful. Head's heavy, arms are relaxed. She's got that nice curve in the spine. I'm looking for any insymmetries from side to side as an instructor, just kind of watching her movement. Take a breath in and exhale, scoop and roll up. Also just a great way for you to get your client or you yourself to be in the moment, to just take that scattered energy and bring it all right here, right now. Go ahead and have a lie down. We're gonna do the intermediate Bassi warm up. Go all the way down to your back. Legs along, reach your arms above your head. I'm gonna, I've converted this reform into a mat, so I'll give a little bit of room for you here. Palms face one another, legs together. We wanna to be active on the legs, squeezing together so the adductors are active. We inhale into our C curve first, so arms come above your chest. Head, chest, and shoulders follow to your C curve. That's an inhale. As she exhales, she maintains that C curve position and comes just to about here where her shoulders are just above her hips. Inhale, exhale, hinge back. The arms come with you. They stay parallel to the floor. Once your low back touches, then the head, chest, and shoulders reach back. Inhale to your C curve. Hold that C curve for just a moment. I just want to see that depth. That's beautiful. Now those hands are nice and horizontal to the floor. She exhales and hinges up. And we hold right about here. We're going to get a little bit more thoracic extension because she sank just a little bit. I don't know if you saw that in the camera or not. But we want to maintain the C curve that we created in the beginning of the movement. Inhale. Exhale, roll back. Arms come with you. Nice shoulder scapula stabilization. Head, chest, and shoulders reach back. We're going to do two more. I am going to be going through the repertoire a little quickly on this, process, uh, this program. Exhale up. There's a lot to do in module four, so you'll see the pace will pick up a little bit. Inhale, exhale, roll down, and I'll take the repertoire down a little bit, so we're allowing us to complete the session within the hour. Inhale to your C curve. Hold your C curve for just a moment. Close your thumbs and close your fingers. There you go. Nicely done. A little more adduction on your, ah, it's beautiful. See how they internally rotate a little bit? Now come up. They didn't actually, a little harder that way too. They didn't actually internally rotate, but she had a little bit of external rotation. I want a nice parallel line with the legs. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, hinge back. Arms drift with you. 
Nicely done. One more. Inhale to your C curve. Exhale up. That's it. That's it. Nicely done. Pause, inhale, and exhale, come back. Now, if you're on a mat like this and you have something to grab a hold of, either the side or the dowel, utilize it instead of just going to the T position with the arms. So she'll go to T position with her arms, bend her elbow, and just kind of gently grab a hold of that side there. Make sure the ribs aren't flaring. We take the legs to tabletop one at a time for spine twist supine. Supine spine twist. Good. Inhale to the right and exhale to center. Now remember the upper body is one unit. Inhale a little gently, gentler over to the left, right about there. Exhale back to center. Lower body is one unit. Continue. Upper body is one unit. They should all be working with each other. The waist is like a washcloth. You're wringing that washcloth out in the center. But this all remains one unit. This all remains one unit. If you feel that you're coming off of one shoulder or you're twisting too far, the legs are coming at the hip joint and not the waist, you've probably gone too far in your range of motion. Inhale. Exhale to center. Nicely done. Inhale. She's got a nice, long, relaxed plantar flexed ankle joint. One more each side. Inhale. And exhale. What you want to look for is the knees veering from one another. So she's doing a great job of keeping those legs together. But if one knee drops as you go to the other side, that means the hip joint is, has too much mobility and movement. And if she comes to one side, or he, whoever you're working with, and there's a twist in the legs, that's not good as well. We want to make sure that those legs stay as one unit. Keeping those legs in tabletop, take your arms up slowly. Sometimes it's a big stretch on your chest and your arms. Come into your C curve, arms come above your chest first, head, chest, and shoulders follow and grab the tops of your knees. Slight bend in the elbow. We're going right into double leg stretch. So we reach the arms overhead and the legs out. We exhale back to our starting position. Inhale, reach. Exhale around. She's doing a great job of keeping those knees just slightly towards her. When you're doing isometric abdominal exercises, those knees should be just in a little bit, not just directly over the hip, but in just a little bit. We're not pulling them all the way into the chest, we're just keeping them right there. And imagine you're reaching out and you're pulling against the resistance of a long band. And pull against that resistance. One more, inhale. And notice how she's keeping that beautiful C curve. Let's do one more, Daniela. And nice. Both hands over your right knee. Extend your left leg. Single leg stretch. The feet stay along the same horizontal line. Again, the knee's not pulling in towards the chest. It remains fairly close to the top of the hip, just in slightly. Switch slowly. Exhale. And exhale. A little deeper in your C curve. That's it, Daniela. She's mad at me now. Exhale. And you see how those feet, they should be right along the same horizontal line, hitting that same spot. This is a lot of abdominal work, so if you need to break this up a little bit and rest in between or you feel any tension in your neck, give yourself a little break. And from here, we keep the legs going, we transition right into crisscross. So keep those legs going, interlace your hands behind your head, rotate towards the bent knee. Nice, I got a big smile on her. I know when she's smiling, she's working. Yes. Now, stay there for just a moment. She's got a little bit too much lateral flexion, so we want to keep those elbows wide and a little deeper forward flexion. One of my favorite cues here is forward flexion takes priority over rotation, and we switch to about there and switch to about there. So less rotation, but more forward flexion. The emphasis on keeping those abdominals engaged. And that's it. You've got it. You've got it. Boom. And come back to center. Grab your thighs. Pull yourself a little deeper. That's it. Just stretch that back out. And everything relaxes. Everything. Reach your arms overhead. Stretch your body out. Give it a nice little stretch. Good. So hands back down to the side of your body. Keep your feet right where they're at. That's the intermediate bassy warm-up. Roll up. 
spine twist supine, double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. Really get your body warm quick. Yeah, you feeling better? Yes. Good. <laughs> it's cold out here in the Pacific Northwest. So we gotta get her warmed up. We're gonna do a little shoulder bridge prep, so take a breath in. As you exhale, go into that deep posterior tilt of the pelvis, pull your abs in, and once you're deep into it, use the backs of the legs to peel your spine up. Almost as if we're reaching those knees over the toes. You're creating this nice line here between your shoulders, your waist, your hips, and your knees. No movement in the pelvis or torso. You're gonna take your right leg to tabletop. And the angle here of the knee joint remains the same at 90 degrees. The hinging action occurs at the hip joint. We inhale, tip it down, exhale, return. <sighs> inhale, tip, exhale, two. Inhale, tip, exhale, three. All of your extensor muscles are working here. Your shoulder extensor, your back extensor, your hip extensor on the stabilizing leg. It's a lot of work on the extensors of the body here. Let's do one more. We put the foot down, right next to the opposite foot. Maintain that height. If you've lost a little bit of height, reestablish that height, reestablish that nice line. We take the opposite leg to tabletop. Inhale, tip, exhale, return. We're gonna do shoulder bridge a little bit later once we're a little warmer, and I want you to notice the breath pattern. Shoulder bridge prep. It's exhale, inhale, touch, exhale. We're gonna reverse that on shoulder bridge. Inhale, tap, exhale, pull, put your foot down, lift a little higher, stretch those beautiful hip flexors out, and roll your spine down, drift your arms above your head, lengthen your legs long, stretch your body out for just a moment. Always like to get a little stretch in between repertoire. Take your right leg to tabletop. Keep your arms where they were, that's okay. Left leg tabletop. We're going right into the 100 prep. So remember the Bassey 100 prep. You want to bring your arms above your chest first. Your head, chest, and shoulders follow. Arms come right here parallel to the floor. Shoulder scapula stabilization. Nice neutral pelvis deep into forward flexion. Let's do five of those. Arms drift up to about 90 degrees of the shoulder joint. Then the head, chest, and shoulders come back. Exhale up. Nice, Daniel. Inhale, return. And make that flow, make that return flow. It doesn't have to be too tonic. You come into your C curve, the arms drift up, everything drifts back. That was excellent, that was beautiful. And two more. Your head's lifting a little prematurely. Good, make sure those arms are right above your chest before your head, chest, and shoulders. That's it, beautiful. We stay there, we lengthen the legs out to a diagonal line. We inhale to prepare, and we exhale, pump, 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 pump. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two. However you want to teach this, however you want to do it, you can pat, you can snap, you can count. Make sure you keep those hands just below your hip line. It's a nice deep pump from the shoulder joint. Arms are long, shoulder scapula stabilized. Just remember if you're counting it out, it's inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Don't add that one in or your client's gonna do the 100 and 10. <laughs> and inhale. And exhale, one more set, Danielle. Inhale, keep those arms a little lower. And the knees come back, the arms, head, chest, and shoulders come through. Nicely done, lengthen those arms out, lengthen that body out. Alexa's talking to me, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Palms face one another, legs are long. We're gonna go back to that roll up to transition to an up position. We inhale to our C curve. Now your abs are a little tired. Exhale up. Uh, <laughs> so I gave her a little bit of a help right there, and that's okay. If you need a little assist, a little assist is good. Give yourself a gentle stretch forward. Relax your arms. Relax your body. I just want you to kind of stretch into that for just a moment. So lift your body straight up. Feet go to the ceiling. Arms come out to a T position. Palms face upward. Dorsiflexed in the ankle joint. And when you're thinking about dorsiflexion from the ankle joint, don't think of the toes. I hear this cue, toes to your nose all the time. And that really stresses out those upper tendons of the toes. Keep those toes facing up towards the ceiling. The dorsiflexion comes from the ankle joint only, okay? Heels are anchored. She looks great. We've got a nice co-contraction between abdominals and back extensors. She rotates towards me two times, exhale, exhale, inhale, center. This is spine twist, not to be mistaken with spine twist supine. 
that she's doing a great job with this. That second exhale is a little further than the first. It's a little bit of a beat, but it's not just a beat beat. You want to hit your line and then further. Exhale, exhale, center. One of the things you're looking for, which she's doing a great job on, is keeping those feet nice and even. If you see the feet veering from one another, you know the hip is moving and the waist is taking it too far. We go one more each direction, boom, boom, and we hold center. Arms come together. Palms face one another, about shoulder width apart. We open to about shoulder width here. We're gonna go right into spine stretch. This is a beautiful exercise. I love this exercise. Think about the anatomy of the movement. A little bit of a cervical stretch. We go into that thoracic. As we get into that lumbar, we feel all the vertebrae open up here. The pelvis tilts forward slightly for that little extra stretch, and then we breathe in. We exhale, we bring the pelvis back to upright, then the lumbar, the mid-back, the upper back, the head, chest, and shoulders are the last things to come up. Inhale. Exhale, imagine your body is a sticker and you're peeling that sticker away from that wall behind you. We tilt the pelvis forward gently, pause, inhale, exhale, restack. We're now replacing that sticker back up on the wall, back to the top, inhale. Exhale, feel the neck stretch, the upper back, the mid back. She's doing a great job with shoulder scapula stabilization. Stay right here for just a moment. Many of you or many of your clients will protract those shoulders or elevate those shoulders to get for a little more reach. You want to keep those shoulders in their neutral scapula position. We talk about neutral pelvis a lot. But we don't often talk about neutral scapula, and this is her neutral position. Exhale, roll through. As the body starts to come through in a movement, there's a rhythm with the shoulder blade, a little glutohumeral rhythm, but they don't excessively protract or elevate. Inhale and exhale up. Let's do one more together. Inhale, exhale, feel the neck. Feel the upper back, mid back, low back, slight tilt of the pelvis forward, pause. Oh, that was beautiful. And exhale up. And the hands are just to the inside of the feet there. I love it. We go to T position with the arms. We're going right into the saw. We're going to rotate towards you guys. So again, the feet don't veer from one another. The waist stays nice and still. As we exhale, it's a hinging motion. The pinky finger just comes right in past the pinky toe. The nose is facing the knee, and the back extensors are active, and the back hand is rotated, the shoulder to internal, the thumb is facing down here, okay? So this is the alignment we're looking for right here. We're staying very active in those back extensors. It's almost like you're reaching out through the spine. As we come up, the arms will end up in this L shape, okay? We swing the arm back first and then the torso. That's how we do the saw in this modality. Inhale, away, exhale, hinge. The nose goes right towards the knee. The back extensors are active. This palm is facing here. This is here. As she inhales up, those arms come to that L shape. Swing the arm back first, then the torso. So let's make that flow. Inhale, rotate, exhale, hinge. Inhale up and center, right? So think of that arm moving back as the and if you're coordinating your breath with your movement. It's inhale, exhale, inhale, and center, yeah? Inhale, exhale, inhale, and center, I love it. Inhale, exhale, move with us. I love this exercise, up and center. One more each side, and exhale, and inhale, and center. Inhale, stretch, and up, and center. Let's do one more each side. I love it so much. <laughs> and exhale, and up, and center, and inhale, and exhale, and up, and 
and center, beautiful. From this position, we're gonna slide the heels in towards your sits bones, round your spine, grab low on your shins, and go into rolling like a ball. This is a great exercise. I'm very hyperlidoric in my spine, so I love this roll through the lumbar. You've really gotta create a nice deep ball position. So she's balanced on her sits bones here. Your feet are just gonna be kinda of hovering above the mat. The heels are close to the sits bones, and you're in a nice deep ball position. When you roll back, please be careful. You wanna to go to your shoulders, the shoulder girdle, not the neck, not the head, yeah? So we inhale back. We wanna make sure we do get up to that shoulder girdle, and we exhale back to the sits bones. Inhale. And exhale, boom, beautiful Daniela, inhale, that's okay, and exhale, we're all human, inhale, exhale, although I would be close to saying she's my little Pilates robot, <laughs> and exhale, nice job, let's go a little lower on your shins to tuck that ball in a little deeper, inhale, exhale, and you notice how she's got a nice little bend of the elbow, that really facilitates the biceps to assist in that pull, inhale, that depth of the C curve, exhale. We do three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Nicely done. Inhale, a little different on this raised mat, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's a little different. So drop your feet, bring your arms out in front of you and just slowly roll your spine down. Slide your heels in towards your sits bones and hands come right down to the side of your body. Nicely done. I usually transition from rolling like a ball into double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. I love that transition, I love that flow, but I wanna make sure we did that intermediate warm-up today. So now we're just gonna go into shoulder bridge. Take a breath in. Exhale, scoop your abs, peel your spine up. This is the fun thing about mat classes. Find how you can create a beautiful flow, one transition from one to the next. Take your right leg to tabletop, bring it straight up into the sky. Now remember we talked about that breathing pattern earlier, so now we reverse the breath pattern. It's exhale down, inhale flex, exhale plantar flex, inhale dorsiflex, and two, and maintain that nice deep bridge that you've created, four, and five, again hinging at the hip joint, six, and seven, and eight, hold it up, point, bend to tabletop, drop to the mat. Again, if you've lost a little bit of that height, just reestablish that nice bridge. We take the opposite leg to tabletop first, reach it straight up. Exhale, point top, inhale, flex, return, and three. She's doing a great job working those shoulder extensors, working those back extensors, keeping that down leg hip extensor active, and three, and two, and one, hold it up. We're gonna stay there, roll your spine down. Keep that dorsiflexion of your up leg, reach your opposite leg all the way out, and we transition right into leg circles. We start to the inside line with an inhale around, and an exhale around. Think of a circle, inhale around, and exhale around, not an oval. The objective is pelvic lumbar stability and hip mobility. If you feel that you're losing the stability of your pelvis, make your range a little smaller. And exhale, and we hold it here, we reverse. Inhale around, and exhale around. Make sure you're not doing a double breath pattern here. It's one inhale around, and one exhale around. And breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. One more set, inhale, and exhale. Hold it here, plantar flex, bend the knee. Reach your leg out, draw the other leg in, reach straight up, dorsiflex, and we start to the inside line. Inhale around, and exhale around. And inhale, bring your hands a little closer to your hips, and exhale, nice, Daniela. And inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale, reverse direction, around, and around. And it's a circle, and it's a circle. And we breathe, and we breathe. If you're working along with us, check your hips. Make sure they're staying nice and still through this movement. Inhale, and 
and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. We're gonna hold here, plantar flex. Bend the opposite leg, bring both legs straight up, keeping that nice plantar flexion of both legs, keeping this nice position of the body. We go into corkscrew. You're gonna shift towards me. You're gonna exhale, making that semicircle around and then back to center. It's almost like a D shape. We go to the opposite direction. Inhale towards you. Exhale around and center. Corkscrew, inhale, exhale, and center. Inhale, exhale. Look at the beautiful stability she has in her upper body here. That is key to keeping that core stability as you're moving through the legs down and around. Beautiful, two more each side. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. One more each side. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Bend your knees, reach your toes down, reach your arms out long, reach your legs out long. Give yourself a nice little stretch. Give that core a little stretch. That's a lot of work in the core. We're gonna transition right into open leg rocker. So what I'm gonna have her do is roll up, come into your C-curve, palm face one another. You come all the way up, bend your knees, grab the outside of your ankles, and lift your legs up nice and tall. Beautiful, so great preparation for the teaser. We've got this beautiful long extensive back right here. We come into lumbar flexion as again we roll back to the shoulders not the head of the neck. Inhale back. Again make sure you hit that line because you need that little bit of energy to come up as you exhale roll through the spine and extend the back. Straighten those arms out because she's so flexible. We can open those legs up, no, right there, there you go. And here we go, inhale back, round through the lumbar, just to the shoulder girdle, exhale up, and we extend at the top. And we inhale, round, we exhale. Nice, Danielle. Inhale, round, and exhale. So you have a tendency to flare the ribs a little bit at the top. There's those dancer ribs. So keep that nice co-contraction, but back extensors active. Just a little closer with the legs. That's it. Let's do four more together. Here we go. Inhale, and exhale. Up, and inhale, and exhale. Extend, and inhale, and exhale. Little wider with your legs. One more. And inhale. We want to get that sweet spot right in between. Hold it up. Close your legs. Let go of your legs. Work your way down slowly, keeping your legs at that diagonal line and hands right to the side of your body. We transition right into rollover. So we come to perpendicular with the legs. We exhale over. Make sure you come over with this beautiful lift in the core and your legs are horizontal to the floor, not dipped, not lifted. Dorsiflex, open to the width of your shoulders. Try to hit the mat without compromising the position of your spine. As you roll down, you feel that beautiful articulation. You point around midway and come right back to your starting position. Just because I want to give you a little extra room. There you go. <laughs> Inhale to perpendicular. Exhale over. She does a great job of hitting this line right here. Not down, not up, but right here, horizontal to the floor, and maximize that beautiful lift. Dorsiflex, open to shoulder width. Hit the ground if you have the flexibility, but don't compromise the position of the pelvis. Roll the spine down. Right around midway, we plantar flex. We come back to our starting position. Inhale to perpendicular. Exhale over. Right there, Daniel. Inhale, flex, open, stretch, and roll through the spine. Nicely done. We're gonna do one more to transition. Again, I love flow. I love the way these, this repertoire can flow from one to the next. We're gonna hold it here. You're gonna slowly drift your arms above your chest. Yes, all the way, all the way, and then above your head. We grab a hold of one foot, the down foot. We bring the other leg up. Now this is a really deep connection between abdominals and hip extensors. It's exhale, exhale, switch. 
switch. I'll give you a little support here. Okay, stop there. Less hip extension, more abdominals, so you get that hip up a little bit more. Right there, and switch. Boom, boom. Now you try to hold that hip up. Try to hold your hip up. And hold it here just for a moment. We're gonna, we're gonna work with her a little bit. Bring your legs back to parallel. Come down with your legs and bring them over more. There, do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Can you maintain that now? Mm -hmm. That was beautiful, that's beautiful. Now, try it again. You got it, you got it, boom, boom, switch. You've got to get those hips over, otherwise the abdominals will let go and you'll end up falling back down to the mat. That's it, now I'm barely huddling her, barely holding her. Couple on your own, couple on your own. Oh, that's it, Danielle! <laughs> and stay there, don't move. Okay, we transition right into jackknife. So we've got good shoulder extensor work here. We inhale up with the legs. Keep the eyes just above your toes as you exhale, roll through the spine. And right as you get down as much neutral pelvis as you can, you come right back to that diagonal line. We inhale to perpendicular, exhale over. Find that line, inhale, touch and lift. That's it. Exhale, roll through, and back to the diagonal line. Inhale, exhale, over. Inhale, touch, lift. Think of less hip extension. That was better. That was much better, Danielle. That was beautiful. Try not to collapse as you roll down. Mm -hmm. Inhale to perpendicular, exhale, over. Inhale, touch, lift. Now keep that beautiful core stability as you roll through the spine. That was beautiful. One more just like that. Inhale to perpendicular. Exhale over. Inhale up. Now roll up to your teaser position so the spine goes down. You come up and lift your arms above your head. Beautiful. Palms face one another. That's a tough transition my friends. Roll the spine down. Teaser one. Reach back and inhale, C-curve. Exhale, roll up, extend your back, extend your arms, that's it. And exhale, arms come in front of you, you roll through and then reach back. Inhale, C-curve. Exhale, up, reach and roll through. Arms just come with you here, they don't come around. Straight overhead, now straight overhead. And up, that's it, don't move. Don't move, that's beautiful, that's it. <laughs> Arms come right down and reach back. Last one, and up, and bend your knees, relax your body, lengthen your legs, and stretch out. I know if you're doing this at home with us, this is a tough workout. This is a tough workout, she's doing great. We're just gonna relax just for a moment in that position. And then we slowly roll back. Rolling with us, just come all the way through the spine. And for those of you watching and doing this with us, roll facing me, for you, roll facing them. Bottom arm is long, top arm is down for support, legs are nice and long, we go right into side lift. This palm is gonna be facing up, so you've got a little external rotation of that bottom shoulder, this beautiful, nice, elongated lateral line. This is a unilateral movement, so focus on those obliques. Legs stay as one unit, inhale to prepare. Exhale, legs lift up, point your toes, and inhale down. Let's bring this hand in a little closer. This top arm is for a little bit of support, but not too much support. Exhale up. Inhale down. Imagine if you had a little grape under your waist. You're going to be smashing that grape. That's a unilateral movement. That's working those upper obliques to pull that hip in towards the rib. And exhale. Three. And down. And exhale. Four. Really nice. Keeping her head in line with the spine. She's got her chin up so we can see her pretty face. She's looking beautiful. Nice alignment of the body. Let's do three more. Two more, and one more, beautiful job. From here, we keep the legs down. The bottom arm is going to bend, so you end up on your elbow all the way up, and keep lifting, bring the elbow a little bit more 
So you've got a nice alignment between this, the clavicle through the shoulder blade and a nice lift on the ribs here. This top hand goes behind your back, uh, behind your head. So it creates a lot of instability here. If you need a little bit of an assist or if you need a little bit of a modification, make that modification. You can bend your bottom knee or you can put this hand down for support. But I, I trust her. I think she's going to do great on this. We dorsiflex forward, just the top leg. Exhale, exhale, plantar flex back. Inhale, inhale. Inhale, and shh, 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 watch your range. If you feel that you're moving excessively, shorten your range a little bit. Slight movement of the torso and pelvis is great. That's okay. That's just a change of center of gravity. But excessive movement is a compensationary pattern. So make sure you stay nice and controlled in the core. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Hold it back. Bring both legs together. Take that leg down. And just bend your knees. Bring them into your chest. Lift up. And I want you guys to just reach over your legs and give yourself a nice gentle stretch here. Beautiful. Relax the body, breathe into that stretch. Let's reach both arms out. Let's reach both arms out and really work that stretch. Good. And now we switch sides. So just swing the legs right around the front of your body. You're still facing us. We're still facing you. Great way to transition from one side to the next. I saw you getting ready to go into <laughs> side kick already. <laughs> she wants to get rid of the side lift already. Nice plantar flex. Nice alignment. Inhale to prepare. Focus on those lateral movers on the upper part. Exhale up. Nice, Danielle. Inhale down. Really good engagement of all those lateral flexors. And down. And. And down. And. And down. And. We're just going to bring this hand in just a little bit. She's doing a great job of keeping your traps relaxed. Keep the neck relaxed. There should be no tension in your upper body. All the energy should be coming right here from your core, right from those lateral flexes. And beautiful. These just drift down. Your bottom arm comes in. You lift your ribs up. Go right to your elbow. This hand comes behind. Make sure you're not flaring your ribs. You've got a good co-contraction here. Nice lift. You can see this right here. Most people sink. Just sink. Show them what that looks like. Not good. No bueno. And you really want to have that nice alignment here. The top leg swings forward in dorsiflexion. Boom, boom. And plantar flexion. Boom, boom. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale. Again, find a range that works well for you. If you feel you're out of control, you feel like you're not stabilizing this movement, then shorten your range a little bit. One of my favorite sayings in Pilates sometimes is less is more. Almost got kicked on that one. <laughs> exhale, 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 inhale, inhale, boom, boom, and boom, boom. Hold center. Bring your knees in, bring your body up, reach over. This hand was down in the beginning, so we'll keep it there just like that. Just a gentle stretch, relax the neck, let those ribs open up a little bit. And then we'll take both arms and we just reach for that side wall. Really reach that body out. And we come to upright. So from this position, we're going right into, again, I love these transitions, side bend. This hand comes down. Nope, sorry, long arm. And legs reach out just a little bit with a slight bend. Top leg is in front of your bottom leg. Just like that. And bend your knees a little bit more. Right about there. So now we want to make sure that we're not pushing from our legs. We don't want to push from our legs. We want to lift from the torso. So as we come up into that side plank, it's lifting from the torso. There's your inhale. Your exhale is going to be a bend looking down at that bottom hand. But don't let your body come forward. I see that very often. The body rolls forward. Stay between those two panes of glass. We inhale to our side plank position. Right about there. And ribs down a little bit. Down. Ribs down. There. That's where I want you, Danielle. That's where the shoulder's working. Now, we exhale. That's where the bend comes in. There's where those lateral flexors are working right there. That's where your bend is. Inhale back to that diagonal line and exhale. Don't rest, just tap. And inhale up. Exhale, bend. 
Stop there. This is what I mean by that forward position. She's already going forward, so you want to stay here. Nice long leg. So look at this bow that you're creating. That's what you're looking for. Inhale back. Exhale, tap. Bring this in a little tighter and use those legs less. Right there. Inhale up. Boom. Exhale over. We got a boom for rail. Inhale back. Exhale down one more for four. Inhale up. Exhale bend. Daniela, you nailed your line on that one. That was beautiful. Come back. We're going to stay here, folks. We're going to stay here. Don't you go nowhere. Take your bottom knee down to the ground. Take this hand behind your head. Take this leg up. We transition right into side kick, kneeling forward. Exhale, exhale, point. Inhale, inhale. Try to keep that leg about hip height. It's tough. It's tough. Oh, she's making it look good. And hold it here. Take this leg back to neutral, drop it down, bring your whole body up onto that knee and over for another nice little lateral stretch. Oh yes. She had no idea what she was getting herself into. No idea. Come back to upright and we switch sides. Bring this knee down. Good. Have a sit. It's true. Right about there. So this is where most of your energy is. The most of your energy is in that top leg. You can technically take that bottom leg out and move it around if you want. Lots of energy in that top leg. Here we go. We did four on that side, four on this side. Inhale to your side plank. That was better, right about there. Exhale, over. Stay between those two panes of glass, right there. Feel that? Inhale, back. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Stay there, don't move. See that? See what I'm talking about? Straight, keep your chest open. That's it, Daniela. Inhale, back, so less is more. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Inhale back. Exhale down. We're going to find that line. Her other side is a little more, uh, a little more um, talented. Drop your rib down. That's where I want you. That's where I want you. Now, straight elbow. Just a little bend. Just a little bend. Nope, that's too much. Right there. You see that line? That's what we want. Right there. Inhale back. Hold it back. Ribs drop a little bit. Don't move. Don't move. You guys have got it. You guys have got this. Bottom knee drops. Good. Hand behind the head. Leg comes up. Dorsi flex. Boom. Boom. Planter flex. Boom. Boom. And exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Looking like a pro. Oops. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. If you kick your instructor, that is a perk. <laughs> you work hard for this. You pay a lot for this. You kick them, that's a perk. And inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, hold it. We go to neutral. We drop the foot. We lift up onto that down knee and give yourself a nice little stretch. You should be able to feel the adductor a little bit, those ribs opening up, all those little intercostal muscles opening up, the lats. Oh, I love this little stretch. And we're going to go to a quadruped position, our hands and our knees. Usually I'll just go away from the foot, but we're going to go this way so they can see us well. Whatever position feels best for you, go to your hands and knees. Make sure your hands are directly below your shoulders, your knees are directly below your uh, hips. Ribs are in. There's a neutral position for cat stretch. Our cat stretch is very unique. We really want to segment the two upper and lower parts of the spine. So we exhale into flexion from the lumbar. The thoracic is going to just kind of adapt to the flexion that was created here. It's a nice flexion of the spine. We inhale to neutral. And just the upper thoracic spine extends. The lower back stays still. You don't go into that big dropped arch. Don't let the abdominals go. Keep that nice engagement. Go through neutral. We go exhale, lumbar flexion. Allow the back to just adapt to that flexion. Inhale, through neutral and extending the upper thoracic spine. That's beautiful. And back to neutral. And exhale, flexion. 
through neutral, inhaling, extending just that upper back. Look at the head, she's doing a beautiful job of keeping the head in line with the spine. You don't want excessive head movement back. Go back to neutral. What you're gonna see on this a lot, you can keep doing this at home if you want, but what you'll see is the ribs and the shoulders pull into this hard flexion from this region. Go back to neutral. You want it to come from here. You go into that nice deep posterior tilt, allow the back to adapt. Go through neutral, and as you extend the back, the crown of the head just reaches out, just reaches out through neutral. With no movement in the pelvis or torso, uh, neutral, right about there. Extend your right leg anchored to the floor. Boom. No movement in your pelvis or torso. Extend the opposite leg anchored to the floor. We're going right into front support. So the right knee is going to come in, and it should just barely tip the mat. Just barely tip it and return. And then the opposite leg, boom. You don't want to hit the mat, but you definitely don't want space between your knee and the mat, because that means you're using your shoulder flexors too much and your hips are starting to rise. So the hips shouldn't move, they should stay right here. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold it here. What, the, bring this leg back out, sorry. <laughs> bring that leg back out, hold it there. <laughs> hold it here, <laughs> she got a little too literal on me. Point your right toe, plantar flex the ankle joint, and lift the leg, boom. Leg pull front, down and lift, boom. Look at the pelvis, it's nice and neutral, it's nice and stable, don't move from that pelvic position, keep it nice and locked in. And we switch legs, boom, I can see her wrists are getting a little tired, so I'm gonna go to five reps instead of the 10 I had originally <laughs> wanted to do for you. Honor your body, always honor your body. Flex, bend your knees, go into rest position, stretch it out. Oh, now you know what you're getting yourself into. Now you know what you're here for. Go back to quadruped. You're gonna curl your toes under. You're gonna pike into an up stretch and just give yourself a little stretch here. Nicely done. And you can either walk or hop between your legs and just sit right down to your sits bones for back support. Yep. And how are your wrists feeling? Um, a little tight? Yeah, yeah. I could do a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be kind to her wrists. Now your fingers should be facing forward, but we can go sideways. That's okay. But don't go back. Anytime you're putting excessive load on the shoulders, you don't want the fingers facing backwards because then you're going to be really struggling. You could actually possibly dislocate a shoulder. So we don't want that. So to be kind to her, we're going to move her hands back a little bit more. A little bit more, right about there, creating that nice A shape. Take a breath in, it's a hinge. Exhale, back support, up. <sighs> Inhale, down. Exhale up. I like to do about five of these, five to eight of these, but we're just gonna do a couple. We're gonna exhale up. We're gonna hold it up and do leg pull back. Right leg up for five. One and two and three and four and five. Switch legs. Exhale. One and two and three and four and five. <laughs> Hinge down. Dive forward. Roll your wrists out. <laughs> Give those wrists a little roll. Give them a little stretch. That is very, very challenging work. And from this position, we're going to just go right to your tummy. So just roll right over to your tummy. Good. We're going to be kind and give her a little back extension here. So hands down by your side, right along your hips. There you go. Palms face in. Little extension to the upper spine and exhale down. Good. Don't bring it just from the low back. Make sure you think of that reverse articulation as you do this nice gentle exercise, this nice gentle extension, and down you go. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Hold it up, take your hands right in front of your body, interlace your fingers in front of your face, elbows down, lifting up onto your elbows for single leg kick. So again, not just sinking into this back, but keeping a nice controlled core here, nice shoulder scapula stabilization, head in line of the spine. The hip extensors activate and lift the legs up. Keep them straight, just the legs, yep. Kick your right leg two times, one, two, uh, no, at the knee, sorry, yep, yeah. two, and. Keep the point to the ankle joint, and keep the point, keep the point right there, and. Boom, boom, 
and boom, boom. Try to keep those knees high up off the mat depending on your hip flexor flexibility is how high your knees will come off. My knees might not even come off the mat because I have tight hip flexors, but I'm still active in my hamstrings, my hip extensors. Lengthen both legs out. Stay here, drop your upper body down, face this direction and hands interlace behind your back for a double leg kick. Palms face up and you get them as deep in towards your scapula as you can, elbows as far down to the mat as you can. Legs are still high and lifted and you kick three times at the knees. Kick, one, two, three. Inhale, lengthen your arms out, looking directly down, extending the back, everything is long and extended. Exhale to the opposition and try to keep those knees up. Boom, boom, boom. And inhale, reach. Nice, Daniela. Exhale the opposition. Boom, boom, boom. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the opposite. Boom, boom, boom. Inhale, reach. Hold it here. Drift your arms around the front of you. Palms face down. Right arm, left leg lifts. Left arm, right leg lifts. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two. Find that cross pattern. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. If you come out of that cross pattern, stop yourself and reestablish it as she's doing right there. And go back into rest position. <laughs> Sit on your heels. Stretch out your back. We have a lot of back extension in this um, module, so we got a little bit more to go. You see, you're gonna with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's doing great. Thumbs up, I got a thumbs up. She's with me. This is a tough one. Swan dive prep. Go back to your uh, stomach. Go to your prone position. It's not, it's a very difficult exercise for one, but there's a lot of technique to it. I want you to really take note of this technique. Your elbows are tight to your ribs. Your hands are just below your shoulders. Heads in line at the spine. Legs are out long. Try to maximize your back extension before you use anything, before any of the arms start to take place. Then you press into the elbows and forearms to get a little deeper extension. And then if you can, the arms lengthen out, maintaining that scapula stabilization. As you exhale down slowly, your body's like a rocking chair. You come to your starting position. Nope, just keep your hands back where they were. That's a drop and catch. We're not doing that one yet. Okay. Elbows down. There you go. Legs come up with you. So we inhale, extend. We exhale down slowly back to the forearms and elbows as the hip extensors activate. There's that rocking chair sensation. Inhale up. Exhale slowly down to the elbows and forearms. Legs lift up. That's beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale down. And keep those elbows down. Keep those elbows down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Hold this position. Bend your knees. Grab your feet. And we go right into rocking prep. We are in a down position. You want three things here. Push into your hands. Extend your hips and extend your back at the same time as you inhale. Keep the head in line with your spine. And exhale down. Inhale up. Again, reach out through the crown of the head. Don't try to be too brave here with that low back and the neck. Exhale down. If you've got any back issues, anything, um, herniated disc, uh, spondylolisis, any back uh, uh, preconditions, please don't do this exercise. Inhale up, just to about there. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Daniela, go back into rest position. Looking beautiful today. We have just a couple more exercises to finish this off. Go back to that quadruped. Curl the toes under. Pike your hips up. Hop or walk through your hands and come right down to your sits bones. Good job. Let's flip you back around. Just swing your legs around. Good. Hands come back behind you. Fingers face backwards. Go back a little further with your hands. A little further. This is a tough one. Hip circles prep. So give yourself a little bit more with your hands. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, just up a little bit. Tabletop your legs one at a time. 
doing hip circles and hip circles prep, the legs go five times in one direction and then reverse direction, don't alternate sides. So right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop, reach those legs out and we shift, inhale, exhale, down and around, always in the same direction for five, around and around. Oh yes, I see you trying to grab it. <laughs> and around, and around, reverse direction. Inhale, exhale, one. Don't go so far down. Two, shorten your range if you need to shorten your range. Three, and four, and five. Hold it here, drift your arms to grab this calf. Take this leg down, both hands grab this calf, and we slowly come down. Keep the length of this leg, keep this heel anchor, we're going right into, stay in your seat curve, hamstring pull one, hamstring pull two, hamstring pull three, here we go, boom, boom, switch. You're just gently grabbing the calf, don't give it a hard grab. That movement comes from the hip joint. It's exhale, 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 exhale. Keep the legs going as you interlace your hands behind your head for, nope, don't, don't rotate yet there you go that's hamstring pull two keeping your upper body still just moving at the legs and hamstring pull three we rotate to the up leg and boom boom now rotate boom boom and boom boom make sure those hands are interlocked the thumbs are with your fingers and you're creating a nice hammock a nice support for your head and one more each side and boom boom and boom and relax bring your knees in Oh, Daniela, she's not happy with me now. She's not happy. She knows. <laughs> I didn't cue her in on what we were doing today. Arms above your head, legs out long, stretch your body out. Come into your seat curve, palms face one another, roll up. And we finish with my favorite seal puppy. Open your knees wide, dive between your legs, so hands come this direction, through this way. Ah. Yep, underneath, and lift up. Good, so what you wanna do, stay there for a moment, is you want to grab your feet. First off, try to bring your knees up as high as you can. Knees as high as you can. And when you grab your feet, you're not grabbing anything. You're just gently resting your hands on the tops of your feet. They're not in hard dorsiflexion, hard plantar flexion. They're just kind of relaxed here. And you open and close from the hip joint. So we're gonna start with the back position and then roll up. So from here, inhale back. Make sure you hit that shoulder line. We open and close three times. One, two, three, exhale up. One, two, three, inhale back. One, two, three, exhale up. One, two. This this is where we're at the end of our session, so just flow through the movement, find a nice breath through the movement, relaxing your body, calming your mind, and up, boom, 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 relax, relax. Oh, she did good. I, if you follow that along home, you did great too. I'm very proud of both of you, <laughs> all of you. Come to a standing position, back to where we started. We take a breath in and we roll the spine down. Wow, that posture looks different. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but she had a much different posture from when she started. Inhale, exhale out. What I'm noticing here is a lot more control here in the abdominal line. She was very hyperlidoric when we started. Her hands had drifted forward, but she's in a beautiful alignment now. I just love it. Inhale, exhale down. Nice movement. Inhale and exhale. Pull into the abdominals. Push your sacrum under. Find that nice posture alignment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out as you roll through one last time. Inhale. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa keeps trying to talk to me. And hold it there. Take another deep breath in. And relax. Ah, oh, Daniela. Thank you. That was beautiful. Nice job. Guys, thanks for joining us at home. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I love to hear them. I'd love to help in any way I possibly can. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, thanks so much for joining me. I certainly appreciate all your support on my YouTube channel. Again, if you like what you see, smash that like button and hit subscribe to become a part of the Pilates Life channel. Thanks again, be kind, and have a great day.